to my channel my name is Bruna and in today's video I'm gonna be doing another crochet tutorial for you guys and it's gonna be on this bikini top right here I really hope you guys enjoy so let's begin with the tutorial <laughs> why do I have to do that all the time in today's video I want to do something a little bit different for you guys and I am using a few different things to create this bikini top so I, of course I always have my first one completed so this is how it looks like but I just want to show you guys first everything that I'm gonna be using so for my yarn which is the main thing in the project I want to show you guys which one I bought so this is the one I bought, exactly this one they still have available, so if you guys want to get that for you. So it's basically a natural 100% cotton yarn, which is my favorite yarn for like bikinis and uh, summer projects and everything. And this I really recommend guys, it's super awesome, the quality is amazing it's really really good and from ebay and with the price that i paid and everything 21 pounds for like nearly two kilos of yarn basically i can just use this for my whole life <laughs> and i'm gonna be so happy look at the size of this when i received i was like what did i just order <laughs> So this is basically the yarn that I'm using. It is a three ply yarn and I do really love three plies yarn. They do show the details quite well on any project and because it's natural and is in that kind of natural color as well, you can see all that beautiful detail. So for this bikini, I've seen some on Shein and I was like, oh, maybe I should try doing something a little bit different this time. I didn't buy one yet because I do want it as a crochet project so I was like I want to do in crochet because I do love my my crochet so the thing is that of course it's gonna be a little bit different it's not gonna be exactly the same but that's basically everything that I'm gonna do the same shape the bottoms I've created something you guys will love the bottom that I've created and it's a super great idea and basically it's gonna have the same style on the back as well so let's just show you guys everything that I'm using so like always my little scissors so I'm also using my favorite hook so it's the 3.5 millimeters hook so I'm also gonna be using these which are bikini clasp and this pack in here comes two and I think I paid two pounds two pounds two pounds fifty on hobby craft and they are transparent which is amazing and to sew this in the bikini I'm gonna be using thread and needle so try getting like exactly the same color or something very similar this is not exactly the same but it's the natural one that I have at home so I'm gonna be using this one so let's begin with the project so this project is gonna be a very easy one hopefully <laughs> I'm joking it's gonna be an easy one I think probably the easiest one I ever done for you guys because the other ones had quite a lot of details so first we're gonna do a slip knot there we go so before I start doing it I want to show you guys the shape that I'm doing so I am doing more like a wider shape which is a little bit shorter so for more like small boobs which I have a B cup so it's quite small so if you have a larger uh, cup size then you should do this very first part here just a tiny bit longer so you can just measure from like under your bust onto your nipples I know it's a little bit strange but yeah just measure from under your bust onto the nipples and it should be perfect for your sizing so you can just choose how many rows you want and how big you want just to cover like all the you know the boobs and everything so to begin you want to chain eight so I'm gonna be chaining eight for my cup size and then after that you want to chain an extra of three chains and then on the fourth one so you count one two three four you're gonna be doing the first double crochet So now you just want to continue doing double crochets all the way down the chain. On the last stitch we're going to be doing one double crochet. So that's basically the top of the cup. So double crochet. You're going to be chaining one and then two more double crochets. One, two, three. 
पीछे If it's easier for you guys, you can just put a pin right on the top so you guys don't get a little bit lost. I do sometimes when it's like these uh, type of yarns because they are very tight. So just so I don't get a little bit lost, I'm just going to put that one there. And then from here, you're just going to be following basically the previous double crochets and then you just create the, the double crochet on top of it. So now we're just gonna be doing double crochets all the way to the end. So now just remember at the end in here to do that very very last stitch. It is there, just find it and then get that one as well. So now to continue you're gonna be chaining three. One, two, three. And then you wanna turn and then you just wanna do the double crochets. Not remember that not on that very first stitch right there, okay? Is on the first stitch just under the second double crochet, not on the very first one because we did the three chains, so that's already counting as the very first double crochet. So now you're just gonna go all the way up to the little shell stitch we've created on the top. So when you get right at the top on the little loop on the shell stitch here, so you're going to be doing two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets on the very same stitch. And then from now you're just going to continue doing the double crochets all the way down to the very last stitch. Make sure you get that very last angled stitch right there. So this is how it looks like and this is basically everything that you guys are going to be doing for the main uh, base, so for the cup. And then it's going to basically look like this. In total, I've done six rows. So basically what you guys want to do, you want to do as many rows as you need for your cup size. And then when I come back, I'm going to be having this one, same size as this one, and then we can continue. As you can see, I just finished my cup and now we are just going to be doing some uh, double crochets just on the bottom in here. So have like the finish just like this one so I can show it to you guys. So we have a better finish as well, just to look a little bit nicer and the same as all around the cup as well. It's basically all the same anyways guys. So chain three and then you can turn. You don't really have stitches on the bottom in here, so you just have to find them. So you can just grab any stitch and then just make sure everything is nice and and like straight and then you can just create double crochets all the way through the bottom so right here so you guys can see I'm getting the very last stitch and I'm just creating the double crochet so now you guys can just fasten off So for the straps, this is what I'm going to be doing and for the measurement, this is something that you guys can do with a bra also. You can just measure from right here where the straps um, start and then go all the way back and then you can just measure on the bra because this I just measured on myself. So you can just measure basically the straps of your bra just like this. And then you can just create the same measurement for the for these as well for the straps. This one has 44 centimeters because also if it's a little bit longer when you try on because you have to sew it um, on the back with the strap on the back, you can always fold it and you can just adjust it a little bit more and you can just like tie everything around and then just sew it together. And we are going to be attaching the yarn right on the top now. So we can do that together. I'm also going to let you know how many chains I have in this one. So you, it's a little bit easier for you guys to just like do the chains instead of like doing the centimeters. 
So right here you guys can just attach it right on the top and then there we go and then from here you can just start your chain. So I'm gonna let you know how many I'm doing. So I have done a chain of 67 so if you guys want to do the same as me and then see how it works then you can. You can always extend it afterwards or you can always shorten like what I what I showed you guys before. So I'm gonna do um, half double crochets going backwards on my chain. So what you guys wanna do, it's basically chain three. So one, two, three. And then on the fourth stitch, you just wanna create the first part of the double crochet. But instead of doing double crochet, you just wanna yarn over all the three together. So that's a half double crochet. So you can do that one, you can do double crochets, you can do single crochets, you can do anything that you want. So again, so first part of the double crochet, but instead of doing the double crochet, you just want to yarn over all the loops together. So that's basically what I did on that strap. So I'm going to be doing the same all the way through my chain until I get to the end in here. So I'm nearly finished, as you guys can see. And I'm going to do the very last ones in here. I just wanted to show you guys, so you guys can just maybe use any of these that I'm doing. So I usually just go through like all the stitches and then like at the end in here. So what I do, I just go back on the loop and then I just like slip stitch on it and then once I do that I just move to the back and then I just find the stitch and then I just like just secure it in place as well so you can just cut the remaining and then just fasten off it's just to make it a little bit more kind of like secured in place so it's not gonna move it's not gonna go anywhere and then you can just fasten off on the back. So now you guys need to choose what you want to do in the cleavage. So the two options are that I have, you can do anything that you want. But for me, you can just attach these two together, just the double crochets, like right here. Or if you want a little bit of cleavage, you can just measure how much you want. Let's say that you want two centimeters, you can just add extension in here, like a double crochet or something like that. Um, and then you can just do the double crochets on top and then you will have a little bit of extension. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna be sewing it together, just the double crochets in here because that's enough cleavage for me. And when I pull from here on the sides, it's just gonna basically open up a little bit more the cleavage. So I just wanna keep it that much. So what you can do, if you're gonna do it exactly as me, you can just put it together and you can just sew it just right here and basically that's it. I'm just gonna be cutting a little bit of yarn and I'm gonna be sewing it with my hook and the yarn. So right here, you're gonna see the double crochet that we've created on the bottom. You're gonna put it together and basically just start sewing. So find a stitch on one cup and then find another one on the other cup. Get the yarn. Pass through both stitches. There we go. And then you can just create a knot right here. Now you can just sew the rest. So basically just grabbing a stitch from one side and then another one from the other side and then just sew it together. And then just the very last ones as well, just so we have a nice finish. We can check in the front to see if everything is fine before we fasten off. So this is how it looks like. For me, that's good. What you can do, you can just move all the way up through the stitches. So right here, 
and then you just can create a knot with this one on the top and then it's gonna be just easier so now you can just create a little knot right here you can just cut the remaining yarn Okay, so this is how it looks like so now we're gonna be doing the back strap we have to measure this one as well so I'm gonna try and help you guys the best I can what I did I measured my under bust so it's 71 centimeters and then I divided that by 2 which is like 35.5 and then I divided that again by two, so it's like 17 something. So what I'm gonna do, I'm basically, and also because we have these to be attaching on the back, you have to also make sure that that's measured, okay? So my top, imagine that it's also stretchy. Without stretching it, is 34. So that's around 68 centimeters. And then what I did, I just measured like around me and that should be okay because imagine that it's a little bit stretchy. So from here to here is 15 centimeters. So that should be also okay because I also have these ones. So imagine that from here to here, that's 17. So to be a little bit more comfortable and not to be too loose, I'm probably gonna be doing like 13 like chains on each side, not 13, I mean 13 centimeters. Chain on each side, like there, because it's also gonna be stretching a little bit. So you have to make sure you count all these little things. So what you guys wanna do is create two chains on the sides, because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be doing exactly the same as the top ones for my back straps as well. So we have to do basically this and then attach it to here. But make sure that, because see, look how stretchy that is. So we have to make sure that that's not gonna affect on the fitting basically, because you don't want it to be too, too, too loose. So I have finished this side, so I know how long it's going to be. So I did it halfway through, as you can see. So in total in here, I've done 26 chains and then after I did the half double crochets. So I'm gonna do the same on this side. So I'm gonna do this side with you guys. So I'm gonna be attaching my yarn just at the bottom in here on that chain. On any day you find actually, just to attach it. And then now I'm gonna be doing my 26 chains. And then after that, you're just gonna be chaining three. And then on the fourth one, we're gonna be doing the half double crochets. So you can just continue doing the half double crochets all the way through the chain. When you get at the end in here, so when you go back, you wanna attach it together in the cup. So make sure you attach it right at the top here on the double crochet. Find a little stitch and then just attach it together. If this happens, so if you have a little hole or two, you can just go back on the reverse, grab a little stitch from one side, another one from the other side, and you can just close it with the, with the actual yarn as well. You don't have to worry about that too much. You can just close it basically like this. And then... And then now we can just fasten off. What I usually do, what I prefer doing, it's basically cutting the yarn and then just adding a little bit of fabric glue just so it stays in place. We are basically nearly, nearly finished. The last touches that we have to do is basically just see if everything fits and we have to start like attaching things together. So. The straps we're gonna be attaching just behind the back straps, so just like this. Or if you want on the top as well, it's up to you. And then we're gonna be sewing this right in the middle in here. Okay, so that's what we have to do. But before you close everything, what you can do is pin this side, that side, and then tell someone to pin it here just to make sure it's fitting 
properly on you and then after that then you can just like sew everything together so that's what I'm gonna do and if it's everything fine I'm gonna be closing everything with you guys and that's it <laughs> so I just tried it on and it, it's perfect it's amazing you can see that I have the pins in here it's just because I was trying and it's perfect so I did took the right measurements and follow the right instructions <laughs> congratulations Bruna <laughs> So now what we're going to be doing is sewing everything together. So I have here my needle and my thread. So first I just want to do the straps with you guys and then I'm going to do one side. It's basically the same for both. And then I'm going to do the straps and then one of these and then I'm going to do the other one off the camera. So make sure that you have the straps on the reverse as well so you want to be attaching it on the reverse so you don't see any sewing and you just want to go in and sew it around and it's not like a big deal it's very easy just grab a little bit of the the back strap and a little bit of this one and just sew it together it's very easy you can also do this with the actual yarn, but I just prefer doing with like a thread because it's a little bit more delicate. Make sure you also do on the inside so there is no like holes or anything like that. Go back to the front. You can just go back and forth like this as well. You're not going to see the thread at all. Just to make sure everything is like secured in place. You can always pull just to make sure that it's not going to undo when you're wearing it because you that's not gonna be that great. When you're happy with it, just fasten off and we can cut it. So you just wanna put the strap through, just like this. Pull a tiny bit, you can just fold it and then you can just sew it together. So just like this, very easy. Again, you can do this with a yarn, up to you guys, this is everything up to you, how you feel comfortable, I just prefer doing with a thread. Just make sure everything is nice and secure as well because this is going to be on the back. Also, just like what I did on the other one, you can go back and forth just in the middle in here, just to make sure like it's like secured as well in the middle not only like on the sides it's just it just gives like extra security okay go back to the reverse and just fasten off and then I'm gonna do the other side yay it looks pretty I'm very happy so I'm here just to do the outro for you guys because I completely forgot to do the outro when I was doing the project. So because I was so excited and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to try it on, I need to try it on. At the end, I just completely forgot to do the outro. So basically, like what I said at the end, so I was going to do one side and then after the other one off the camera and then basically the project was done. And this is the final project okay guys i'm just coming in here just to tell you guys that that was the last step for you guys to just finish the project off so that's how it looks like at the end and it looks really really pretty i i'm gonna be posting some footage for you guys at the end of the video so you guys can see but this is the finished project i really really hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and also subscribe to the cutie quality family and i'll see you guys soon on my next video bye bye